Bentonville School District becoming the latest to see a high number of student absences due to illness. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jennifer Pignate. KNWA's Clarissa Bustamante is live in studio with a look at how this flu season compares to years past. Clarissa. Jennifer, Elm Tree Elementary School reported 20% of its students were absent Monday and 18% were gone just yesterday. Leslie Wright of the Bentonville School District says not all of the empty seats are due to sickness, but a majority of them are because of the flu or strep. I've never seen anything like this. In two weeks, multiple schools have seen kids missing from their hallways due to illness. Out of three weeks, my daughter has been out sick for a full two weeks. Danielle DeHane says her daughter Liberty has a low immune system and is allergic to the flu shot, making her a perfect target to catch a sickness at Elm Tree. I'm stuck in a catch-22. Just Wednesday, the Pea Ridge School District says 20% of its students were gone due to the flu and other illnesses. Flu A has just gone crazy. Dr. Randy Conover of Northwest Family Medicine, just down the street from Elm Tree Elementary, says this flu season has been more mild than the last, but this year he's seen an increase of kids. I have children from Pea Ridge, Bentonville, Bentonville West, Decatur. Grab it, schools. And some from Elm Tree. With a one year old on her hip and her grandparents in her home, DeHane says her family can't afford to get sick. Somebody in a fragile condition like that, whether you know you're preemie or you're elderly. You can kill them. Dr. Randy Conover says one group is not more susceptible to sickness than the other, but he is seeing a trend. It's it's just been more prevalent with the teenagers this year than it has in the past. Dr. Conover says kids with the flu should not return to school until a full 24 hours after their fever breaks. Live in studio, Clarice Fustamonte, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.